hello guys welcome back to the tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the load of the rings golem is crashing at startup it is not launching or it is not freezing stuttering low fps drop black screen stuck on loading screen and many more issues including the low fps drop which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart for that we just need to go over here click on this one go for a restart once restart is successfully done just try launching the game or move to the next step so next step is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that we just need to go over here right click and go to the properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so when you click on this one it's going to take a little bit of time so hence it will be cross-checking every file of the game if any files are corrupted or if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be cross-checked and this will be taken from this side and this is what we have to do so this is an important step so sometimes due to the error which is called the verify i mean if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing we will be, we will be having this trouble so it is an important thing we should be uh, clearing this out so just wait for this and once it reached 100 percentage just click on the play button and try launch the game that is what we have to do next step is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder right now we are launching the game from steam which is causing the issue sometimes it might cause the issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder we have two method the first one is launching the game from here that is we have to shortcut method that is from the steam which will help us to navigate to the installation folder right click properties local file browse so we are very easily redirected to the installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local disc c program file x86 steam steam apps common golem and now from here we can launch the application and this is what we have to do apart from this there is one more step that's called uh, navigating using the file explorer which is an important step so just click on this one so from here go to this pc Go to local C, go to program file x86, go to steam folder, go to steam apps, now go to common, now from here go to golem, now from here select this one application, this is the application, so just launch this. And this can also be done, so try launching the game from the installation folder. Next step is run the game as an administrator. So hence we are in the same installation folder. I'll be showing you the step from here. Just navigate to the installation folder. Now right click and go to show more options. Go to properties, compatibility. From here, click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK and try launching the game. This is what you have to do. So launching the game will be helping this out. So try launching the game and that's what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about. We can also try one more step that's called run the game in the compatibility mode. This need work it for some users so you can try this out. So just right click, go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Now from here click on, on the over here at the top you can see the compatibility mode. Just click on run this program in compatibility mode. First select Windows 7 and go for apply or you can change this to Windows 8 go for apply set this either windows 7 or windows 8 go for apply and try launch the game you can try with windows 7 or windows 8 anything is fine just try this out for some users this did work it but keep in mind if this is not solving the issue then i request before proceeding to the next step we just undo this one and keep run this program as an administrator as it is go for apply go for ok and close this and go back and try launch the game Next one is all about, we need to make sure the Windows language, date and time region is correct. So some users might be launching the game or playing the game Windows and keeping them in any other native language. So if that is the case, go to settings, go to time and language. From here, go to language and region first. And here you can see the English United States. So this is what I'm using. So you have to set the language to English. Search for English if you're on any other native language. Once you search for English, once set this up just do this and make sure the country or region is correct you have to select india that is an important step and now go back now over here if you go to the date and time make sure the time and time zone is correct so you have to set the time 
and time zone should be correct as well you have to set the time as both the game you have to do this up and once you're done with this one just go back and see whether the issue is solved or let's move to the next step that is which is all about we need to delete the saved game file some game might be having auto saving files which over here you can see that just go to the file explorer this pc now go to documents over here and if you find the folder on golem load offerings to golem if you find the folder just delete the folder and keep in mind you'll be using all the provisions but that is fine this did work it i found this one in the reddit so you can try this out keep in mind there is one more thing which you have to do that is when launching the game you have to press alt and tab together i don't know how this is related but for many users this did work it so just click on the play button at the moment you're clicking on the play button just press alt and tab from the keyboard and this did work it for many users and you can try this out as well going to the next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go to control panel now click on windows defender firewall now click on alone app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to search for load offerings golem keep scrolling down now from here keep scrolling now you will be able to find the load of the rings golem so right now this is already added and make sure the private and public is correct so if the game is not added then what to do is all about we can add it manually for that just click on allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local dc program file x86 keep scrolling down go to steam steam apps go to common now from here go to golem select this one and go for open and add it so you'll be getting the error keep in mind that is fine because it's already added so just add this is how we can add the game manually and once you're done with this one close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so if it, you might be playing the game with the controllers or you might be connected to the multiple monitors or it might be connected to any other thing so if that is the case remove everything from the usb port keep it clean once you remove everything, you launch the game. If you wanted to play the game with the controllers after the game is successfully launched, just connect back the controllers and try launch the game. And that's what we have to do. Once you're done with this one, just move to the next step. That is all about. We need to perform a clean boot. For that, just go over here in the search. Go for system configuration. Go for services. Go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. Sometimes that might ask you for restart. If restart is there, just go for restart and try launch the game. Next one that is we need to disable the Steam overlay. For that, just right click over here, go to properties. Make sure enable this one should be unchecked. So disable the Steam overlay. Once you're done with this one, try launch the game. After that, just go over here in the launch option. So that is we have to go for DX11. The first command try with DX11. Now launch the game if DX11 is not working. Change this one to DX12 and try launch the game. So try with DX11 or DX12. Try separate any one of these and most probably it will be working out. If it's not working, just remove everything from the launch option and move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that we just need to go over here in the search. Go for graphics settings. Now from here, as you can see, we have already added all the games. Same way we need to add the game as well for we can add it. So just click over here on the browse. Now we need to go to this PC, go to local C. Now from here, go to program file x86, go to Steam folder. Go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we need to find the golem. Select this one, select this one and go for add. So once it's added, this is an important step. Once it's successfully added, just click on the option. Right now, as you can see, by default, this would be a let Windows decide. So we need to change this and change this to high performance so that when the game is launching, you are, the GPU is being utilized in the background, which is NVIDIA Geoforce RTX 2080 with Max-Q design is being utilized in the background. So which is not, uh, which will be helping the graphic performance so if any crashing issues there, this will be running in the background and which will be utilized, the GPU is utilized, so the issue will be less. And that is, we will not be having crashing issue. So go for save. Once after that, go back. Now click on the play button and see whether the issue is solved. Still the issue is there, we have to move to the next one that is increasing the virtual memory. For that, just go over here in the search, search for view, advanced system setting. Go for advanced, go for settings. Once again, advanced, once again, change. 
Go make sure this should be blank so, and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. Go for custom size. Give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So here we need a calculator. So to do the calculation. So first you need to know what is your RAM. So my RAM is 32 GB. So just type your RAM and multiply with a constant value that is 1024. That brings you 32,768. So multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. Now copy this, paste it, move to the maximum size, that is 32 GB into 1024. That brings you 32,760, multiply it with 3. That brings you 90,304. So just copy this, paste it as well, and go for OK, and just click on this one, close everything, go back and try launch the game. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to update the windows. For that, just go over here in the search, go for settings, go to Windows Update, make sure the Windows is up to date. So that is an important step as well. So just uh, do for any pending updates or they just download and install every KB updates and make sure everything is fine. Once you're done with this one, just go back and see whether the issue is solved or move to the next one. That is, we need to, in I mean, we have to update the graphics card. For that, I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA like this and you'll be having the link to AMD as well. So the users on the NVIDIA just click on the respective link and land on the page like this and select every details of yours. So some of you might be having different models So select everything from here. Now the operating system, hence I'm in Windows 11, I have to select this one, set everything and go for start search. Now from here, you just need to up, uh, wait for it and you'll be getting these kind of versions, which is 5.13.03 which is a released version on May 24, 2023. So just download this one and install this one on a PC and restart and try launching the game. If you're on the AMD, just go to this respective link, select everything over here. Now go for submit. And once you're done with this one, you'll be getting the option. If you're on Windows 11, just download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. If you're on any other thing like Ubuntu, Linux, etc., just download the respective one. Once after that, try launch the game. If that is still not working, parallelly we have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing link in the description and let's land on this page and download this one. Install this on your PC. Restart is a mandatory and once after that, try launch the game. If that is not working as well, we have to try with one of the most important step, which is uninstalling the game and reinstalling back. For uninstalling the game, right click over here, go to the manage, uninstall the game. For reinstall it back, you should not be installing back on the same local disk over here. Hence, I'm having only one local disk, which is of uh, one TB. That is fine for me. But if you're having any multiple local disks, try launching the game. I mean, try installing the game on any other local disk and see most probably. After trying all these steps, the issue regarding this has to be fixed. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.